Today we're going to show you how to take a stereo out of a Land Rover. Uh, there are special keys needed for this because there are a couple of slots at the top of the stereo. We're going to slide our key in on the right side, slide our key in on the left side, and the stereo should pull right out of the dash. Uh, what's going on here is the key is going in and pushing down on a spring that holds a stereo in the dash. You can see that the spring pushes down. This spring is obviously way pushed down. This has been out of the dash before. Once the radio is removed from the dash, we want to grasp the antenna and pull the antenna off. This is uh, one antenna. The second antenna, we want to grab the base and pull this off as well. Uh, on the remaining connectors, we have small triggers on the side. These triggers need to be pushed in to the side of the connector. This releases the trigger and the connector can be wiggled right out. Now this, ha this is true for the second connector and the third connector. Uh, as for removing or reinstalling the stereo, we need to make sure that we hook the antennas back up when putting it back in. This is a very simple removal. Tuck the wires back in behind the stereo, push the stereo right back into place, and the stereo snaps right into place. There you go. Land Rover stereo removal. We also have help on the website for removing the, your CD changer, the subwoofer enclosure, and the Harman Kardon amplifier along with a do-it-yourself repair. Mm -hmm.